He's the hot young star of bad education who's welcome to teach me about the birds and the bees any time he likes. Give it up for the brilliantly funny Jack Whitehall! <laughs> <laughs> How are well, you? Yeah, good. Lovely nice to see, see you. Now, do you want to drink out the globe or do you want to do the Alan Carr gin and tonic challenge? I think you've got to do the Alan Carr gin and tonic challenge, please. It's a cross between, you know, neck nominate and the ice bucket challenge. Oh, yes, there we are. It's a bucket of G&T. <laughs> so Who should we nominate? What, did we nominate someone no, else? No, I can't drink a whole bottle of gin. It's just, it's just a fun little sip thing. OK. <laughs> that is very strong. The ratio of gin to tonic has oh, sort of taken one. the enamel off my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going to catch on, is it? No. That is not going to catch on. Does anyone have a nice and slice? <laughs> this is chatting, man. What do you think? <laughs> what have you been up to this summer? Tell me everything. Being worried yeah. that my photographs will now appear. In the cloud. Oh, my God, iCloud! I don't even know how that works, but I'm scared. Oh. I, did you see the, f the photographs? Yeah, I, well, I, t I tried to look for them, yeah. You're not meant to look for them. That's morally oh, reprehensible. Not. You're meant to be showing... I look for them as well. The, oh, well. Uh, <laughs> but, you're, yeah, there, there's some shocking stuff. You know that stuff. paper clip from Word turned out with a hard-on? <laughs> <laughs> It's scary, then, no, the Now, did you have any dirty photos on your eye, Kevin, genuinely? No, I did have a thing. This actually happened a couple of months ago. My friend called me up and he was like, there's this photograph going around Twitter and it's on this uh, account that's uh, it's called Shamed Celebrities and they say it's your knob. No. And, and it, they said it was a, a dick pic and I was like, I've never taken a dick pic before in my life. And I was, ter I was angry. I was like, how dare they be sending this photograph around saying that that is, that is me, because it's not me. I was like, I'm going to have to contact a lawyer. I'm going to have this bloody site <laughs> shut down. <laughs> I found it. I clicked on it. Oh, my God, it was like a butcher's arm. <laughs> it, it, it definitely wasn't my penis. No. But I thought, if they, you know, they want to say that's mine, then I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Retweeting it. It's my profile. <laughs> This summer, you've also been filming the new series of Bad Education. Yeah. That starts on BBC Three next week. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You've just got it. Genuinely made me, genuinely made me laugh, which is good for a comedy. Yeah. But you got the characters out what it's like in schools and stuff. Yeah. You got it just right. Well, we we you, we didn't try and make it authentic and. So I went and sort of observed quite a lot of classes and hung around yeah. school... Uh, hung around schools, that's important. <laughs> I, was, I was given permission, I didn't just turn up. Oh, um, but I do think... <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? I, I was invited by teachers to come down yeah. and observe classes. I didn't yeah. hang around schools. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and talking to other teachers and, and yeah. trying to make sure that we got the right kind of energy for, a, for an actual classroom. Because a lot of the teachers that are, like, you see on Educate in Yorkshire and Educate in the East End, they're, like, really, like, amazing teachers. But your, your character, Alfie Wicks, is a bit of a bell end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not great. He is not great. But he, I know, he, I think his heart's in the right place. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love those shows. They're Educating Yorkshire in the East End, they're so yeah. good. And I, <clears throat> I don't want to go all Tears Morgan here, but I do think, in a way, like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel a great affinity to teachers. I think they they do an amazing job. And, uh, you know, in, it, when, it, when a teacher says they watch my show and they enjoy it, that really makes me happy, because yeah, yeah. I do think that, you know, they're underpaid. Uh, mm. They're, you know, they get a lot of shit. There's loads of terrible things that they have to deal with, but they get on with it and they do an amazing job. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I love the teachers. And it, you know what? Teachers get respected in any other cultures, but just not Brits, do we? We don't... We can't stand them, especially supply teachers. <laughs> yeah, poor old supply poor teachers. Supplies. Do you remember? And they come and take the register. What's your name? Paul Mycock and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Mycock, yeah. Yeah, Paul Mycock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were so vile to them. Do you know what this girl did in our class, Becky? We were three floors up doing science share as a supply teacher. We were so rowdy. She went out. Becky ran three floors down, laid on the pavement outside. <laughs> And when the supply teacher came back, went, Becky's jumped out the window. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh Can you imagine the supply teacher coming and going, what the...? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Let's have a look at a clip. This is Alfie blackmailing his kids into paying attention in the brilliant Bad Education. <laughs> Is it true a teacher in Belgium actually did that? Yeah, that was a real thing. I read about it online. It was a teacher that was trying to get his uh, class under control, so he, he read all the Game of Thrones books because he knew they liked the series, and then when they wouldn't <laughs> sharp, he wrote the names of characters oh, that geez, died. Clever, I thought it was brilliant, yeah. stick it yeah. straight in. But you, you do, like, I mean, we've tried... Uh, we've, we, there's the odd thing that you can take from real life. So in the first series, we had this thing that happened that, that genuinely happened at my school when I was there, which was we were all in an exam. Uh, doing this exam, and there was the teacher at the front adjudicating it, um, and he was on his laptop, and all of a sudden, middle of the exam, girls started screaming, guys got up, started, you know, like, laughing, people were running out. <laughs> I looked up, right? The guy didn't realise that his laptop was linked up to the overhead projector behind him. He was watching pornography... <laughs> ..and was projecting it out to the entire exam hall. My God! It was un unbelievable. Luckily, it was biology, so we all got straight A's, but... <laughs> <laughs> it was so awful. He used to walk around the school and everyone would, like, walk behind him and go, Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> but, yeah, how can you carry on teaching at that school if you're getting all that shit? You can't, oh, no. can you? I mean, how much of that go... Cos we, we all know you went to a posh school, weren't it? I mean, how bad was bullying at your school? Cos the thing is, posh people can't really come up with, like, good names, so they just took an O oh, at the end or a Y, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'd be like, Caro, Kari! <laughs> like, I was fat puff at... <laughs> I went to a normal school. Yeah. We had a nasty but I had a horrible bully at my school called Atticus Montague Hoy, and he, um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, he was brutal. <laughs> So we had nick, 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 oh, the best one well, uh, nickname we had at someone at my school. I saw him the other day because that's the that is the worst bit of bullying you can get when you're a kid is a nickname because the nickname sticks with you. Like if someone punches, you get a bruise that heals. A nickname's there forever. Yeah. I saw this guy. <laughs> I bump into him on the street and uh, he's like grown up now. He has a job. He's married. I was like, oh my god, Cam, how are you? It was like, are you still call Cam? He was like, yeah, everyone still calls me Cam. And he's been called Cam for, like, ten years. Ten years, he's grown up, he's moved on with his life. The reason he is called Cam is because on the first day of school, when he turned up to school and his mum dropped him off, she had a camel toe. <laughs> ten years! <laughs> ten years! That was going around! People need to move on! <laughs> Ten years of that, his yeah. mum's camel toe following yeah. him round. <laughs> it was awful. And this is the last series of Bad Education. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Why are you calling it a day, love? Because all the kids have grown up and they're all leaving the flock and oh. it felt like a good time to end it. It's been so much fun to make. We've done it for three years and we, we filmed this final episode where I say goodbye to uh, the kids. And, and it was one of the things that a lot of teachers had told me is, is a genuinely very traumatic moment to say goodbye to your, your first class. And we were filming this scene and I just completely went. It was, like, it was genuinely really sad because we've been together as a cast for so long and I've seen them grow up and stuff. And, um, I mean, that said, like, I, I, you know, you're looking at a guy that cried at an episode of Deal or No Deal, so I'm quite <laughs> emotionally highly strung. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. it was a really, oh, it was an amazing sweet. thing to, to, to do. Right, hey, well, good luck with Bad Education. Thank you very much. It's very Thank funny. You very Thank much. you. Jack Whitehall, everyone. <laughs>